guys, what's up? Welcome back. Today I have such a pretty, pretty haul for you. I'm so excited to show you everything I got at City Chic because I am just enamored, totally enamored. If you're not familiar with City Chic, they are an Australian based brand that also has an online store here in the US. They um, used to have stores, like physical stores here in LA, but I believe that they closed them all down. Um, but I'm so excited about the stuff that I got in a completely different way. Normally, like when I hauled this um, this top right here from Rev Dolls, normally when I do a haul, I'm usually like full of energy and I'm like, yeah, this was awesome, this is fun, this is great, this is exciting. Um, and this stuff is just so beautiful. So if you're looking for something to just make you feel like the pretty, pretty princess that you are, this haul is for you. I'm not gonna waste a second, I'm gonna jump right in with what I think is probably going to be the most underrated item I've ever put on my channel. I don't, I when I saw it on the website, I thought to myself, people are not gonna give this the credit it deserves. It is so beautiful and so delicate and reminds me of something a ballerina would wear off duty. Um, so it's a jumpsuit, but it has an overlay on it. So it is a cross front jumpsuit and it has, um, here's the leg of it, and it's kind of a very thick, um, but still somehow a little see-through, but you don't really see it, um, a very thick legging material, so it's almost like a body stocking, um, but what makes this so, so special, you guys, is the overlay and the way that it hangs. So um, you can kind of see the chiffon on the front here, in the wrap portion, kind of wrapping around, and then down the front you have these long panels of chiffon, and what I really love are these extra long belt um, ties on each side. Let me grab the other one here. So you have these really long ties, so they just wrap around and around and around your waist and give you such a beautiful um, waist definition. The cross is so flattering, and the way the material floats away from the body um, just moves so nicely. I just, I, I put it on and I was like, God, I just feel like this is just so stunning. Just so, so stunning. Um, if you have the budget for City Chic, please give this a chance. I think it's so underrated and I can see myself wearing it a ton, a ton, a ton. Um, it's just, it's, I just can't start talking about it. It's so, so, so pretty. The next item I have for you guys is a pair of shorts that unfortunately are too big in the waist, um, which is normal for me, but I got them in a size 20. They are so cute. Polka dot is so on trend this year, and I really love these. I love how roughly they are, how they flow away around the thigh so they don't hug all the way down. Um, like I said, the only issue is that the waist measurement is just way too big for me. I'd have to have it taken in quite a bit, and I think I will. Um, I haven't found a good tailor here in California yet. I really Really, really need to. Um, I really just think these are so cute. They kind of have a pinup vintage vibe to them, but I do think that they can be made a little more modern with the right bodysuit and the right crop top and stuff. So, um, but if you are into vintage fashion or if you like something that's a little more pinupy, these are just a great, great, great pair of shorts. Um, again, really super flattering. And um, if you're not as pear shaped as I am, these are really going to fit you really nice. So they're just so, so, so well made. Um, so such a bummer that these don't fit, but I will have them taken in. Um, I'm going to put them in the pile of clothes I'm going to have tailored so I can do that tailoring video for you guys you guys have been asking for. So I'm going to put these in the pile and you will see these again guaranteed. I'm going to say the words pretty delicate, ladylike, feminine, and beautiful a million times in this video. So just prepare yourself. Prepare yourself. This dress, this next dress. Listen, listen, listen. If you have an event, if you have a graduation and you want something to wear under your gown, if you have a spring formal, if you have a wedding to go to, mm, kind of maybe don't wear this to a wedding because it's white, but mm, you know, it's kind of not white. Um, you know, if you have any, if you have a date, a really nice date that you're going on, this dress is just so pretty. Oh my God. It's like so pretty that you have to make an ugly face about it because you're like, oh my God. It's so pretty, I can't do it. Oh, it's so pretty. Okay, look, 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 look. It is a kind of high-low, so it's but it's got a wrap skirt detail in the front. Um, a really nice, great waist definition, but this neckline, just, just stop it, just stop it. It's so gorgeous. Like, it's just so gorgeous, and it has this little um, ruffly bit, which I normally don't like, but I love how this hangs, so I'm so here for it. So this little, like, ruffly bit that kind of hangs on your arm. 
I love this for my babes too. And I get, I, I read your comments and I know that a lot of you guys are not super there yet with like having your arms out on display and you're like something that you're working toward. A little dress like this with this little ruffly bit is gonna cover a little bit of your arm and make you feel um, more comfortable. You're still gonna get the benefit of having your shoulders out and having all this beautiful real estate here just out and about to the world. To, to me, honestly, no, honestly, I know I show a lot of body cons and short stuff and tight stuff and all that stuff, but there'll never be anything more sexy and more beautiful than this part of a woman's body. And so anytime I think you have an opportunity to show this off, I really, really would. Um, so so again, such a beautiful, beautiful dress. So see, it's kind of, it's white based. So I don't know that you want to wear it to a wedding, but it's like got flowers on it. So it's not totally white and wear it to the wedding anyway. She'll be fine. She'll deal with it. Um, yeah, just a stinking gorgeous dress. Just absolutely stunning. This isn't a long haul, but it's just filled with stuff that I'm ridiculously excited about, I think is what it comes down to. I'm just just so freaking excited about. This next dress is me playing with um, this Bohemian aesthetic I've talked about before. Just kind of, you know, it's really fun that um, you don't have to be pigeonholed in a style. You know, fashion is really about self-expression and what you're feeling in the moment and what you're feeling that day. And it's transformative. It's who do you want to become? You know, and my time in Australia really inspired me um, and has really given me a more whimsical, more free-spirited look at the world. And it's just kind of how I've been feeling very, um, willing to try new things, uh, wanderlusty for sure, and just definitely looking for, just to try something new and try something different. And so this, um, this next dress I thought just fit perfectly into this new vibe that I'm playing with. Um, so really pretty off the shoulder smocked top dress, long sleeved in a very flattering way. Sometimes long sleeve dresses can look a little matronly, a little like sister wifey. You gotta be careful of that. Um, what makes this more modern is the skirt part actually has two slits, which will be nearly impossible for me to show you this way. So I'll just let try on portion crystal handle all of that for you. Um, yeah, just a really fun print. Now I love boho, but I really don't like the seventies vibe. So it's, I kind of walk this line of making it more glam and more chic and more pretty. And you're gonna see some stuff coming from Astra that has been inspired by my trips that is kind of pulling in more of a bohemian feel. But um, the print on this dress in particular, I find is more feminine, delicate, and more garden party than it is 1974, you know, tiny flower business. Um, just such a, such, such a pretty dress and really comfortable, really easy to wear, easy to move in. Um, I'm really happy with this one. This next dress is just 1000% Bohemia, complete Bohemia. I've seen similar dresses in um, at a lot of different retailers. So if you can't find this one or if this one, they don't have it in your size, keep around because it's it's doing the rounds right now. So really pretty um, embroidery, kind of crochet neck style with a bell sleeve here, nice and gauzy, um, defined waist, and then a little bit of embroidery here at the bottom. What makes this one special for me in particular is that it does come with these ties, which normally I would cut off ties like this because I don't, I don't like them. But what it does is it allows you to get a really nice waist definition with it so it doesn't feel too much like a sack dress. I think as plus size women, a lot of times we get caught up in this whole, like I can't wear anything voluminous because I don't want to look bigger than I am. You know, and I, and I understand that. I think a lot of people will try and tell you wear what you want and you should wear what you want and you should feel comfortable. But I also understand that it's a journey and it's not a switch that you can just flip in your head and be like, great, I don't care, I'm gonna wear whatever. I know a lot of us still want to flatter the body and want to, you know, slim our figures and stuff like that. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Um, you know, you look best when you feel best. So wear what makes you feel best. And if that's waist cinching and if that, and I don't mean a waist trainer, but I mean like cinching the waist in a, in a garment with a tie or adding a belt or something. And that makes you feel best, prettiest, strongest, most beautiful, then definitely do that. Um, and that's what really drew me to this one here was that I do love that the fact that there is a tie in the back that you can cinch the waist with it um, and give you more of a kind of a fit and flare look. So really, really just lovely little mini dress. It's shorter than I normally go for, but I'm really feeling these vibes, these bohemian vibes, and I'm making 2018 the year I embrace my thighs. So, you know, we're, we're, we're just, Sun's out, buns out, skies out, thighs out, and boho dress for the win. 
I have one accessory to share with you guys. I'm not 100% thrilled with it, but I feel like I haven't been able to find anything close enough to it in plus size that I am going to deal with it until something better comes along. Um, so it is this Western style belt um, that I wanted to get to put in with all of my boho looks. Um, so I will show you two try on portions where I tried it over two of the dresses I showed you guys in today's haul. Um, the only thing I don't like about it is this bit in the back. It's elasticated with the snaps. This is City Chic's kind of thing that they do. Whatever, it's fine. Um, I would have just liked a full belt, you know, instead of this bit because it's not very helpful you know what I mean um, when it comes to wearing it with like I have jean shorts on and I couldn't wear this with this because it's just too flimsy but I do love the look it gives with dresses so really really cool um, as you can see I loved it with the black I loved it with the white it's actually turned out to be more versatile than I thought it would be so um, now I'm on a hunt for a better quality kind of full belt so I'm really feeling this a ton the last item I have for you as the sun sets here in California and all of my light goes away is a um, romper. Um, I really love City Chic's romper. They're just so cute. They're so pretty. Ugh. I have one that I got last year, the year before, and I wore it to spring training last year, and I just... They're just so good. They're so good. And they seem to like take pear shape into account. So I got this in a size 18 and it's a little snug on the bottom, but not too snug. And the top is a little big, but not too big in a way that works. Um, it is kind of falling off of me during the tram portion because I forgot to adjust this strap. So please to ignore that. Um, but it is a really pretty, again, boho style, bell sleeve, off the shoulder, v-neck cute 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 romper there's no pockets in it which is kind of a bummer but it does retain a nice shape on the hip so you're not getting any puckering or buckling like you may have noticed a little bit with the shorts those, those polka dot shorts you do get kind of a little bit of extra this in the hip area just stuff i guess um so it does create a cleaner line but pockets would have been cool but that's fine we just wear a belt bag or something it'll be fine um and i really love the nice little embroidery bit at the bottom it is lined there is no stretch in it but i do feel like it is generously cut so if you are big into hips and thighs like me um you should be pretty okay with it again just such a pretty jumpsuit or just a just a pretty little romper that i know i'm gonna get a lot of wear out of and I really can't wait to style it actually because I think there's going to be a lot that I can do with it. So yeah, that is it for me and the City Chic haul. I, for some reason, had kind of fallen out of love with City Chic or maybe I had a concussion, I don't remember, and I stopped like going there to their site as much. I don't know. Um, but they are definitely back on my radar. I am so feeling everything that I got. I cannot wait to wear it. Um, stay close to my Instagram if you want to see how I style all these pieces. And if you have any questions, um, leave them down below. I am planning a boho style video. I just got a huge, huge, huge order in with some boho stuff. So we're going to get a really nice full video on how you can wear boho as a plus size woman and still look chic and pretty um, and lovely. And I think, you know, I've been seeing so much of the body cons and the crop tops and the minis and you know you guys know I love that stuff I'm wearing it now but I think there's so much more to fashion than what we've been given and what we're seeing and we just need to look a little harder and a little differently so um boho fashion is something you're gonna see a lot more on this channel so I do hope you like that there will not be any less of anything else but I want to incorporate it because I do think it's a beautiful aesthetic it's something I'm really loving right now and I want to share that with you guys so anyway that is it let me know what your favorite thing was that I turned on down in the comments down below and I am going to go because I'm losing light and I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for spending a part of your day with me. I really, really appreciate it. I love you guys so, so much. I'll see you next time. Bye. Okay, so if you liked this beautiful, beautiful, pretty, 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 pretty city sheet haul and you want to see more hauls, here's a playlist of all of my hauls. And if you're wondering where all of this bohemian inspiration is coming from, here's a playlist. This is my Australia vlogs. I went to Australia for two weeks um, earlier this year. Had a wonderful time and was able to film seven videos um, during my time there. So you can click this playlist and watch and see. I got stung by a jellyfish, almost fell off the side of a mountain, and almost got attacked by an eight foot long lizard. So um, a lot happened and it's all right here. <laughs>